My name is Cheryl Stumbo, and I'm the citizen sponsor of Initiative 594. I got involved in working on this um, as a result of being uh, a survivor of a shooting. I'm Alan Gottlieb. I'm the founder of the Second Amendment Foundation, but I'm also the chairperson of Protect Our Gun Rights, which is the committee that's been put together to support 591. It was a Friday afternoon in late July. Um, the day was winding down, the week was winding down, so I stood up to go to the office door to see if the receptionist needed my help. She turned to me and she said, Cheryl, there's an angry man here and he has a gun. And right as she said the word gun, he was right there. And he started shooting. And he just kind of went around in a circle and just sh boom, 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 boom. I just dropped to the floor. I was just waiting for him to kill me this time. Virginia Tech happened just a few months after I was shot, and then uh, Tucson and Fort Hood the first time, and the Aurora Theater shooting, and I got tired of that, just having this happen over and over again and having nothing change. If by being the face of the campaign I can help, then I'm willing to do that. My father, many, many years ago, had a heart attack and uh, was in the hospital and I had to get to the hospital and I just parked the first spot I found, I didn't pay any attention. I came back out of the hospital late at night, about 11 o'clock at night, um, and I evidently was parked in a doctor's parking zone and somebody thought I was a doctor and may have had drugs in my car. And I opened the door to get in the car and a guy with a you know, very sharp knife, rather large knife, you know, pulled my car door open and had the knife staring at me. And luckily I was carrying the firearm and I pulled the gun out. He backed up three, four steps, turned around and ran. I could say that this firearm saved my life and I'm very glad it did. Quite frankly, if you look at all the major tragedies lately, all the perpetrators who have committed these ridiculous acts of violence have all passed background checks. So background checks wouldn't really have stopped what happened in Newtown, Connecticut, or Aurora, Colorado, or Tucson, Arizona. It doesn't really have any effect on it. Five ninety one in that campaign is a very cynical um, attempt to confuse the voters. Well, gun owners have to pay a fee to transfer a gun, and that's an undetermined fee, and there's no limit to it, buyer beware. But the big cost is the, the average taxpayer. I heard Alan Gottlieb say once that <laughs> it's, it's even hard to say. I think he said something along the lines of Charging um, a law-abiding citizen a fee to run a background check is not worth it. Really? <laughs> it's not worth a life? One of the key people uh, involved in, in the other initiative was a crime victim themselves and were shot. She doesn't tell people that person went through multiple background checks to buy all the guns that he had that he shot her and other people with. I think they're desperate. If they need to come after people who have survived gun violence, as a way to try and discredit what we're trying to do. It's pretty low. Um, so, you know, come at me, Alan. <laughs>